Hey kids, welcome back to another preschool message. And uh, so I excited to see you guys. So good to see you guys. We just finish up a whole month of September in Joseph and now we're into a new month of October. I can't believe it's October already and the weather's changing and uh, we, we're gonna have a lot of fun stuff coming up uh, this October so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to check out our uh, Wednesday night messages. Uh, we got one special for you guys as preschoolers so make sure you sure you watch those. Uh, but today's message is a good one. It's on, it's on the three guys and they got funny names and so we're going to talk and tell you a lot about them, uh, but it's Shadrach. What? Can you say Shadrach? Meshach. Everyone say Meshach. And Abednego. Everyone say that too. That's really hard. And then you say it all at the same time. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It's hard to say all three at the same time. But we're going to, Miss Kelly and Miss Leah, they're going to talk a little bit about God being with you. And so we're going to go to them and we're going to do a little worship too. And, uh, and then I'll be back to just put it all together. So let's, uh, let's do some worship. hiding. Why are you hiding? Well, my mom signed me up for our ballet class and I was really excited because I got to wear a tutu and they were even let me wear butterfly wings. But then I got to class and I got really scared and it was so many people I didn't know so I didn't go in. Oh, I can see how that would be a little scary. You weren't sure because you didn't know anybody so nobody was there with you. 
Yeah. But did you know that God is with you all the time? What? Yeah, God is always there with you. And did you know there's a Bible story about that? Really? Yeah. It's about three guys called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And there was one time when they were so scared but they because they weren't sure if somebody was with them, but then they found out God was with them because God is always with you. Oh. Do you want to hear it? Of course I do. Okay, let's spread our wings. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's been such a rainy day. It's easy to get down sometimes when you're in the rain or when things don't go your way. But I've got a story that might help. Do you want to hear it? You do? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This story begins with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had an idea. He had his people make a giant golden statue of him. Now, when I say giant, I mean giant. Wow, look at that. That is huge. And King Nebuchadnezzar loved it so much. So, he told all of the people in the kingdom to gather around. Then he told them that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me? Get out your pretend trumpets like this. Bum, ba -da -bum. And when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music. Bum, ba -da -bum. Perfect. Trumpets down. Okay. So the king told everyone every time the music played that he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. That's great. Trumpets down. The king said that if you didn't bow down, he was going to throw you into the fire. Everyone say, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. And the king was serious. So each day the music played and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there are three men that did not bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They loved God and wanted to obey him. God had told them never to bow down to anyone but him. So they did not bow down to the statue. How do you think the king felt when he saw these three not bowing? Do you think he was happy? No, he was very mad. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, if I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not afraid. They knew that God was with them and that no matter what happens, God's got it. So they went into the fire, but then something happened. Look, how many people do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four shadows. Someone else was in the fire. It was an angel sent by God to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How cool is that? And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He is so amazed. He had never seen anything like this. And the king said, come out of the fire. So they all came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow, 
God was with them and saved them from the fire. From that day on, the king prayed only to God. <laughs> what an incredible story. And don't forget that no matter what, God is always with us. God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. You were right, Miss Leah. God was with them the whole time. Yeah. So even though they were in a very scary situation, just like you were with your ballet class, God was with them and he helped them through it because God is always with you and God's got it. Wow, that was such a great story. I can't wait to do what God's got for us next week. Yeah, it'll be fun. Such a good story. You know, it, it's there's going to be plenty of times in our life where maybe we feel afraid. You know, we're, we're scared. We don't know what's going on. Maybe we're confused. I mean, there's lots of feelings. And the main thing to remember is that God is always there. God's always with you. He's there when things are good. He's there when things are bad. He's there when things are, are unsure. He's there with you the same way as in the story that he was with our, our friends. What were their names again? Let me hear you. Uh, yeah, we need to work on those names. So you guys, some of you guys got it. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And, and so we want to make sure, I mean, he was with them. He's with Miss Kelly. He's with Miss Leah. He's with you. And so no matter what your feeling is, just know that God's got it. He's with you and he loves you. Now let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for these stories that we can learn so much. That uh, we can trust that you're with us. And so even when we're scared, when, we're, when we don't know what to do, we can turn to you. And so just when we're in those moments, just let us pray. Pray for you to just comfort us, to give us wisdom, to let us know what we should do next. And you'll be there because you got it, Lord. And we just thank you and love you so much in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, amen. All right, we look forward to seeing you next time. Miss Leah, it's a new month, new memory verse. Whoa, I'm so excited. Me too. So did you know, this month we're learning about how God is always with us? Mm-hmm. So we have a super great memory verse about that that we can practice all month long. <gasps> you ready? So exciting, yes. Okay, so we're going to start with God. God is with you. With you. Wherever. Wherever. You go. You go. March, March. Joshua 1, 9. Joshua 1, 9. Okay, let's try it again. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Nice job. Okay, keep practicing that. We're going to do it all month long. Bye-bye.